internet my name is zero and welcome back to another episode of tormented souls i cannot remember where what we were doing last we left off but i'm gonna enter this door oh by the way if you guys really want somebody else to join me in on this video just make sure to leave what like 10 likes minimum and i'll get dia to commentate as i scare the crap out of myself in this game the West Wing second floor fuse is has blown out, uh, and I've run out of spares. These things are giving me a headache. All it needs to do is pass electricity through. I'm sure I could find something conductive to do the job in the meantime. Okay, so East Wing second floor, was it? I'm gonna make sure there's no name. Here I can't interact with. And there was nails. How many nails do I have? Wait, that's what the bolt is for. Okay, I got 21 nails. That's why he gave me the bolt. Please. Bruh. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, I'm a, I'm a little nervous about this, you guys. <laughs> I should really do research on this game, but I don't. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Okay, I feel like I'm getting near a boss fight. If it, if this game is anything like uh, like Resident Evil, there's gonna be a boss fight. West Wing corridor. Wait, haven't I been here? And he's down. I have not been here because if I had, he would have been gonzo. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to know what that is. Ooh, the first door I enter is one that's open. Okay, okay. Room 2E? Woman. Is there anything of use in here? Nails? Nails? It's a tape. Tape wheels are good. But I would greatly appreciate. Daddy's. First aid treats major injuries. Yes, that's good. Nothing useful. Nothing here is useful. Then why would you make that an interactable? And why aren't both doors interactable? I don't want to save just yet, but it's good to know where the save is. Oh, another thing. November 30th, 10.30. Dr. Cohen reported that no matter how many times he presses the button to call the elevator, it didn't work. When I checked on it, I realized that someone had left an object blocking the elevator doors, stopping them from closing completely. The buttons to call the elevator from the first floor aren't working. The elevator can only be called from the second floor. I don't like that. Okay, so here's a save point. That's good. So, wait, wait, what's my current objective? I think it's to find those girls? Wait. Oh, hell no. A 
I know this is messed up. Uh, wait. I don't like this. I think. Yeah, I can pass through there now. Why would I need that, though? Bell smell emanates from this body. Um, I feel like that's not really gonna do anything for me, so... Upstairs we go? I have no idea why that card is blinking, but it is. Something I'm supposed to do with that? I don't know. Okay, so I went into these areas. Oh, that only leaves this area. Oh no, I can't. I can't in the hand won't punch. So is that just leave this area? Wait. Oh. Can I use that? No, I need a bolt or something now. <clears throat> Okay, so I need another bolt. So nothing else I can interact with? Hold up. One of these has to be my objective. Right? Right? I'm gonna assume right and just... Wait, one of those things said I could smash a vase. <laughs> you guess not this one. Um... Am I supposed to... What happens if I remove it? Can I do that? Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what I'm supposed to do. I know what I'm supposed to do now. I know. I know. I'm supposed to take the elevator down, go around, back up, get the bolt. No, stop doing that. And then use it here. That's what I'm supposed to do. Go down to floor one. Go back around, get the bolt, come back to the elevator, go up. That's what I'm supposed to do. Then I can use it on that door. There's not a second bolt. At least, I assume. That scared me. <laughs> I still have no idea how to open d those doors. Okay, 
so I go up to the second floor since I have that door open, the little gate. It's locked from the other side. Okay, so I go this way. Right, yes, yes. Go here. Oh, I've got it figured out now. And this will take me to that room. Yes, this one. Is there anything that I missed? No, I didn't miss anything. I go to this. Open it up. Switch it off. And take the bolt. Then, I go to the elevator. On the first floor. See, I, I can think, you guys. I can prove... I'm smart to an extent. God, I wonder how many people are watching this like, dude, it wasn't that obvious. No, it, not right away at least, but I get it. So the elevator was in here. I'm glad that I'm finally getting the layout of this area. So I go in here. Go oh, wait, what's in here? Is that the that's the bathroom? There's the one with that creepy monster in it, right? Oh no wait, this isn't the bathroom. That's, uh, further in this area. But I need to go to... I need to go to the elevator. That's what I need to do. I need to go to the elevator. Oh, uh, you mean to... Oh! 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 I get it now. I need to... Oh, that makes so much more sense now. Okay, so I gotta go back up. I get, I get it. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Alright, now we're back. And I've actually figured it out now. So I was supposed to leave the car in the door so the elevator wouldn't go back up. That way I could just go up from here. Well, I, since the button's broken, I couldn't call it. But now that I'm back in the elevator and I got the bolt, and this will get me past the door, I can use it on that other door. So, big brain. Took me a minute to figure it out, but I got it. Awkward elevator soup rides. Hate them. Okay, I'm gonna equip this. That never seemed to run out. Oh, what the heck? Wait a minute. That's this door. Wait. But it's also this door? Wait, so can I... I may have screwed up. No, I didn't! Okay, good, good. I, I was worried I would have locked myself out of that door. Okay, so now we can go through this door, which apparently is the one we need to go through. Mm, taking the lighter with me. Oh, yo, 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 yo! <laughs> no, 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 no! 
Wait, did I need the lighter? I gotta check that first. Or is this one of those run sequences? Oh my god! Oh, what the heck are you? Oh, you're new! Oh, what the... Oh, go, go! Oh my god! I hated that. I hated that. Oh, but I need to go back in. <laughs> Don't be right there. Please, please don't be right there. No! And I didn't even save! I forgot to save! Come on, man. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be quick. Oh God, where is the last save point though? Oh, it, it's fine, it's fine. I'll be right back. Oh. What is going on here? This place is infested with nightmarish creatures. I need to be strong. I can't quit now. Um, okay. I've discovered that a surgical procedure is to be performed on two twin girls. I hope I can get to the operating room in time. There's something dark going on, something grim. Well, welcome back everybody. Apparently this is where we're continuing back off from even though I died, like, just not too long after this. Hey, that's fine. Oh my god, I've been recording for over an hour just to catch up to this save point. No, oh, wait, if I, if I remember correctly, I need this. I need this lighter. Not yet, anyways. Getting the, uh, this. Yep, good thing I did that. What is this? Thank you for allowing us to interview you, Director Burtman Wildberger. We are very aware that this is particularly delicate, is a particularly delicate time for you and the people of Winter Lake. Do you have any information about the fire, about how the fire began? Experts are working hard to find the answer. Unfortunately, we are still waiting to discover the cause. What will happen now that the hospital is completely lost? As director of the hospital and as someone grateful for everything life has given me, I am currently working on accommodating the hospital's needs within my mansion. This, of course, will be temporary, at least until we manage to construct a new hospital building. I have also spoken to kind donators who will be providing equipment and furniture. How generous of you, Director. I am merely God's servant. I exist to do his will. 
That wasn't creepy at all. Okay, so I ran over there that time and it was bad. Okay, so I'm fine. I'm gonna equip this for now. I'm going to combine this. <clears throat> I ran the other way, that's what got me killed. I don't know what that is. Okay, uh, combine you and you. Shotgun made with a modified with modified items. Uh, can I wait a minute? I don't have shotgun shells. Oh my god! A man in a radioactive suit is walking around a body in circles. Okay, so it was good to come here. It was good to come here. Father, what's going on here? Why is that weird man walking around the operating table with that weird chandelier in his hands? What are you talking about, child? I don't see anything. You don't see the man on the other side of the glass? Oh, my child. This place is giving you hallucinations. You must rest. I feel like he's a bad guy. I don't know what's real, or what is a product of my imagination, Father. Let me tell you a story. Hundreds of years ago, this island was inhabited by a tribe. One night, the moon could not be seen in the night sky, and the world was plunged into darkness. The shaman of the tribe, those with special blood, danced around their dead, willing their bodies to rise and walk the earth once more. That sounds terrifying. Is that what that guy's doing? Do I have to fight that guy? Oh my god, I know there were shotgun shells somewhere. I know there were. Oh my god, where were they though? Okay, I'm gonna go look for those real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, so I found those shotgun shells. Apparently, they were in the studio. And now I can combine these. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do. These were this bad boy. Wait, what? Wait, can I only have one in at a time? Is that the situation? Nope. Okay, 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 what? We equip this one. Oh! Good. Yeah. Ooh, no, not combine. Equip. Okay, nope, never mind. Gotta combine this. Take one of these. <laughs> nope, I didn't equip it. I didn't equip it. Should I, should I give him the extra double tap? <laughs> yeah, he's down. <laughs> 
it's over this way. No, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Disinfectant room. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Microscope. Why would I come in here? Wait. Yes, that's what I need. Shotgun shells, yes. Please, more, more, more. Give me a little more, please. I just need a little bit more of something. Anything, I'll take it. At least it's not that terrifying. Anesthesia. Anesthesia room. Jesus. I got scared by squish. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna take these. I feel like... No, that's gotta be to the... What's this? Oh, it's a doctor's thing. Tis mute legend... Legends about... A bound of the magical blood that... Curses... That courses through the veins of twins, allowing them to communicate with each other by thought alone. Some even claim that brothers and sisters could appear next to each other in seconds across incredible distances. It is not surprising that the first explorers to arrive on the island called such gifted younglings witch children oh unfortunately they seldom survived 10 or 11 summers once chosen for sacrifice however the most striking tale is that of the nights with no moon was in the sky the nights with the the nights when the little twins would be sacrificed. The children would dance torch in hand around the tribe's decease while the remaining tribesmen extinguished their torches with this ritual. The dead would walk the earth again at least for one night. Am I a twin and that's why I'm seeing them? And the preacher's not? He's not a twin? Anyways, I don't know if you guys saw this or if I read it earlier, but I'm gonna put in now this clip of me reading something that I missed. After the tragic death of Father Francisco, my father was transferred to town to take over his position. He is staying with us at the mansion. I'm sure William's father is happy to have him here. They still have an unfinished chess match. I enjoy his company even if William and him never get along. At least he did not deny him a greeting, even a cold one, which my father received with a resigned smile after William appeared at the front door. I don't know what that's about. I think I read this one, did I? I don't know. Okay, I'm not gonna go that way just yet. Not just yet. The door had to be open. The door had to be open. Great, 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 great. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Nope, not having any of that. Though I kind of need this. That's right. Operating room. Okay, I'm gonna go open that door. And once... Wait, what the heck? Oh, I thought it was... Okay, those are just fans. Ventilation fans. Okay, I'm gonna go open the door, go back around, save, and then end the recording there. <laughs> Okay, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna save before I get to... Before I get to, uh... Cocky... So, it's usable now. It's... I can use it. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> it one-shotted him! Oh, that is awesome! Oh, that, that made me feel badass. Oh, wait, there's another entry. 15th of September, 1975. Maria insisted on having a huge celebration for our little girl's fifth birthday. Even my stubborn father joined us. It appears the girls have changed him in a good way. Everything would have been perfect if it were f not for Noah, Maria's father. Wait, so these aren't Maria's journal entries? His cold stare makes the girls uncomfortable, and the crude way he treats Maria makes me uncomfortable. Okay, so this is William Wildberger? This is Wildberger's, I'm assuming. If the old man thinks he can keep abusing my wife as he did when she was a child, or dares believe he can do the same thing with his granddaughters, he is mistaken. I will protect my wife and daughters from anyone who would seek to do harm. To do them harm. Wait, so... Oh, that thing's there. I don't like it. Oh, it's swinging side to side slowly. That's even worse. Come on, please. Let... There's nothing in here. Not even a light switch I can throw? Oh, come on! No, there's gotta be something. Ah, oh, man. Okay, okay. So that's... This is the end of this episode as soon as I get to a save point. Which I know has to be over here with the father, right? Right? I can't remember. I could look at the map. Okay, so... Okay, so I can fire off only one shell at a time. Okay, that's, that's good to know. Only one shell at a time. 
Not bad, but kind of bad. No, no, the, the last save point's over here. It's over here. This is where it is. This is where it is. I can't believe how powerful that shotgun is, though. Don't worry, for you lovely people, I'm obviously going to edit so you don't have to go through an hour and a quarter. One and a quarter hour of me playing this game. Oh, it's going to be so much editing, though. Oh, I only have two. You know, use it. Uh, this one. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment, share it with a friend, and we'll be back at this game tomorrow. I think I'm going to have to do a boss fight with that guy walking around the operating table. I don't know. But I'm going to see what's up with that. Anyways, you guys stay awesome and I'll see you back again tomorrow. Bye.